This is a repost of the Let's Play live stream at Mahjong Time using National Mahjong League rules. The Let's Plays are usually at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's was a little late because I had a lesson. So for future reference, if you're around at 7, come and check it out. I'd love to have you join the live stream. In this repost, hopefully we'll have some really great games. If you want to play at Mahjong Time, send me an email because I do have some 30-day VIP coupon codes and you can come and try it out, see if you like it, and maybe join. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the live stream now. Enjoy the session. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing at Mahjong time using National Mahjong League rules. We have green health, so we're good to go. Sorry for the delayed start today. I had a lesson earlier. So I had to actually start a little bit later today. We'll end hopefully at 9. So we'll hope to get in some really good games and chat. Maybe talk about some strategy, talk about Mahjong time, how to play there. Because it is a little different than other platforms. If you're playing at other platforms, uh, Mahjong time is a little bit um, different. And so hopefully we'll have some circumstances to talk through. And also, I do have a video on Mahjong Time tips, so that might be helpful. I'll have a link below the video so that you can find that. And if you decide to come and play at Mahjong Time, you can check out those videos that can hopefully give you a little bit of an introduction to the interface before you get started. I do have some VIP coupon codes. 30-day VIP coupon code so you can try it out for free. Just send me an email. My email is in the video description. Welcome to the live stream. Say hi in chat so I know who's here. I'm going to go ahead and join a table. We'll just get started right away. There's a table right here. Let's see. Make sure I'm in the right style. Hi, Alyeska. Welcome to the live stream. Oh, the game already started. Oh, shoot. Hi, Judy. Hi, Melody. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing American Mahjong at Mahjong time. Hello, Debbie. Debbie from New Jersey. Welcome. I've never been to New Jersey. Hi, Chris. Where in Georgia are you from? I'm in North Georgia, Cherokee County. We're just waiting for a table here. I tried to join this one, but it says it already started. I guess I'll go ahead and launch into another one and see what happens. Oh, uh, Jefferson County. Hmm, I don't, I've not heard of that one. Let's see. Oh, here we go. We got in. We're going to start playing right away. Since it's going to be a shorter night than usual, I wasn't able to start at 7, so let's get started right away see if we can play some good games here. Well, really, any game is a good game. All right, uh, let's see. I'm thinking to build around multiples, the most of your multiples. In this case, we have twos and sevens. They don't go together. They do not go together. So I'm thinking probably two, three, five, six, seven. I'm thinking we probably need to break up the twos and maybe play cons consecutive run, a consecutive run with six, seven, eight, nine, or maybe odds, big odds, five, seven, nine. Hi, Leisha. Welcome to the live stream. We're playing American Mahjong at Mahjong time. So I'm focused on probably the consecutive run category or big odds. We just got a seven, which might help. And now we have huh, two, three. Two, three, let's see, we have twos and threes. I think I'm going to change my mind and go with two, three. Because now we have pairs of twos and threes. If we're going to use the most of our multiples, we're going to switch. So I'm going to go ahead and break up these tiles here, the big tiles. Let's see. Let's pass those three. So we're going to switch two, three, four, five, maybe, in which case we can keep the five. We got a four. 
I wonder what else I gave up early on. I don't even remember. There's a three, so we're just going to keep every two, three, four, five. Whenever I play a consecutive run, I usually gather four to five numbers in a range, and that will hit almost every opportunity on that category. So I just gather four numbers in a range, four to five numbers. And I don't worry about the suit. I don't worry about the number. I just gather. When I run out of discards, that's when I pick a hand. So we're going to play consecutive run. We got a three and a one. One, two, three, three. We have two tiles to pass. The green and the seven bam. So we have two, three here. Two, three, four, five. One, two. I'm kind of thinking uh, that we could maybe pass the one bam and keep the three for two, three consecutive run potential. Hi, Marsha. Happy Hanukkah. Good to see you in the live stream. If you're just joining us, oh, Peggy, Peggy's here. Hi, Peggy. Welcome to the live stream. So if you're just joining us, we're playing American Mahjong at Mahjong time using National Mahjong League rules. And we have a four. I'm kind of thinking the east and the nine can go. And I think maybe that we have all threes is a good thing. Maybe we could even play like numbers with threes and use the twos as joker bait. We shall see. If you have any questions about joker bait, it's a strategy using pairs that you do not need. And I do have some videos on joker bait. And maybe I could have a link in the video description below so that you can find it easily in the repost. So we're going to focus on consecutive run, two, three, four, five. We'll see. Let's see if we get any helpers here. Oh, five being a five dot. I don't think that's going to help. Two, three. Yeah, I don't think this five dot, even though it's in the four number range, two, three, four, five, I don't think it's going to help just because of where the tiles lie. I think two, three, two, three is a pattern that we might be able to leverage. There is the um, concealed hand with pungs under consecutive run that we might be able to play. Okay, we got a one and a four. Let's see, one, four. So we have all consecutive and one tile. They want two tiles, so that's helpful. Let's give up on uh, the four and the nine. And focus on one, two, three, maybe one through five. If we get the one crack, we could maybe play that very first hand under consecutive run. Okay, we got a four. We'll just hold that since it's in the four number range. Seven bamboo. And we have a discard. Oh, there's a five. Seven Again bamboos. with the five. Three, four, five, one through five. We got lots of tiles to work with here. Three bamboos. We are not going to take that. I would not take a discard to make a pung, for example, in this case, if I don't even know what hand I'm playing. I'd rather stay flexible. Okay, the five dot can probably go. Let's discard the five dot. We do have a six now. Two through six. There is a consecutive run pair hand that uses five numbers in a range with the matching dragon, which we don't have. And it needs flowers too. So that's kind of a long shot. But I think we could probably keep it. At this point, though, I think I would get rid of it. I wouldn't play a pair hand with two jokers. You know what I was just thinking is maybe we could play the consecutive run quint. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Kongs with the two and the five. I don't know, though. There's a five crack out, so that might be a long shot, I think. I'm kind of thinking maybe two, three, two, three, if we can get our mm -hmm. hands on a flower. Flowers are kind of hard to come by, though. With the double punks on the cards, flowers are a hot commodity. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Two dots. At least we have the, a pair of threes. A pair of fours would be helpful. So now we have a pung in here. 
a pair of two crack, a pung of three cracks. If we can get a flower, maybe we could actually play that two concealed dogs. hand. Let's get rid of the four. Oh we got a pair now in the three. So that came in. West wind. Two, three, two, three concealed one pungs. Character. We have a big gap though, no flowers right now. All we need is one to get comfortable though. This is concealed, so we don't want to take that. We could potentially switch to like numbers with threes here, but again, we'll need flowers. And then of course, there's the dragon option of which we don't have any, and there are none out right now. So that is a long shot. Oh, wow, look at that. We got another joker. Three dots. Two, three. Oh, green dragon. Let's see here. We need pair a pair in the four, and then quint the five, quint two the two. Mm. I'm gonna stay concealed, since there's a five crack out. We would need way more jokers. So I think probably the two three concealed mm -hmm. pun hand is the best, the safest choice. We have a gap though. No flowers. But we can use these jokers to help with the pungs. So all we really need to get comfortable is a single flower. That would help. Uh, build the hand and they will come. That's good. <laughs> okay, so we need flowers right now. Let's see if we can get one flower. One flower would be fabulous right now. And this is concealed, so we cannot call for it. There are two three bams out, so we're going to need to use that for the three. And there are no two bams out, and there's one two crack out right now. So right now it's looking okay. We just need to get our hands on a flower. One flower is all we need. Seven bamboos. Nine characters. Oh, well, there's a joker. No, oh, shoot. So two, two cracks are out. We're going to need to use that joker there now. Okay, this hand is dwindling a little bit. There is a nine crack available for a joker exchange, though. We're good there, thankfully. Oh, we need a flower. So the player to my right, most likely, is playing big odds or... One six, seven, eight, nine, and two suits. Could be one or the other. Either big odds or six, seven, eight, nine. Two dots. There's an eight. Let's get rid of the eight and see what happens. Eight characters. Ooh. Risky, but I'd rather get rid of it early than hold on to it. There are, let's see here, there's one five crack and two four cracks out. So these should be pretty safe, I think. Let's go ahead and get rid of the five. five characters. Maybe we can get uh, something out of this dragon. There's only one green dragon out. Bamboo. If one cracks come out, switch. There are two four cracks out. Eight two one cracks are already out. I would rather stay concealed. Green dragon. All we need here is really one flower. If we can get that one flower, the concealed pung hand would work. Okay, so they didn't take the consecutive seven number seven. and they didn't take sevens. They just discarded a seven. They're probably playing consecutive. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven in dots, eight, nine in cracks. Let's get rid of the four. four if I could have had the one, that would have been nice. I would totally have played that first four hand. Nine under consecutive run, but we red didn't. Dragon. Okay, there's a red, first one out, let's see. Nope, nobody wants it, that should be safe then. Six dots. Uh-oh, there it comes, here it comes. Oh, they weren't ready. Let's get rid of the red. So we're in the end game now, the fourth wall. This is when you want to uh, discard the fresh tiles as quickly as possible and hold tiles you know are safe. So I'm going to hold the one and the two. There are three each of them out. So these should be safe tiles. The green, there are two out. Green dragon. The one and the two should be safe. And we have not been able to get a flower. No flowers. 
Orchid. The nine crack. Uh, oh, all the nine cracks are out. One dot. Oh, there's a joker. That's helpful, maybe, for one the two. Bamboo. All we need is a flower. We have one, three two, dot. three, four, five more picks. Green dragon. Red dragon. We just need a flower here. Five dots. South wind. If anybody wants to come and try Mahjong Time Out, let me know. Look for my email below the video, Five in dots. the video description. Send me an email and I have coupon codes I could send you so you can come and try out Mahjong Two Time. Bamboos. We are concealed. So we can't take that. Oh, can you believe this? Not a single flower. The nice thing is, is there are none out yet. Nine dots. None have been discarded either. One, no, I take that back. Six Two. Characters. Two flowers have been discarded. Eight bamboos. One flower. Keeper. Oh, shoot. Wow, they were all in, they were, let's see, there's two out, two in a hand, three, so four, seven, there was only one left. Yeah, uh, we were crippled. Okay, well, that is nice. We have two, four, six, eight, pair hand. Very, very nice. That was a very nice hand there. So kudos to them. Over here, we had north east west it looks like they were maybe trying for the concealed pung hand for wins they needed more west or jokers and then this player over here they were trying for the knitted five seven nine hand where the dots and the white dragons matched but they needed another joker or a five crack and the five cracks were out there were two five cracks out so they were a little bit crippled too Okay, well, let's uh, see if we can get another game here. We were close, one away, just couldn't get a flower. It's really nice to have your pair of flowers ready to go, but I really thought I was going to draw a flower. Hi, Linda. Welcome to the live stream all the way from Mexico. Wow. Okay, Marsha's joining us. Welcome to the table, Marsha. May all your picks be keepers, unless it affects me. So let's see what we can do here. We have a pair of fives and a pair of nines. Well, we have a pair of twos also, but the fives and the nines are both big odds. I think we should play big odds and give up on the twos. So we're going to keep all the five, seven, nine, leveraging the multiples, the most of your multiples. Sometimes they don't go together. Like in this case, the two, five, nine, they don't go together. So we're going to break them up right away. Let's pass, let's pass two, four, two, four west. So five, seven, nine, that's what we're going to focus on. Big odds. The nice thing about the odds category is you have one, three, five, seven, nine, or little odds, and then you have big odds. Lots of options. So we have tiles to pass. We don't have to pick a hand yet. Since we have discards, we don't have to pick a hand. It'd be nice to get a white dragon. Maybe we could play a knitted hand. The knitted hands are when the middle block matches the dragon on the end so it goes suit one suit two suit one matching dragon to suit two if that makes any sense it kind of weaves its way through the hand that's why it's called knitted all right now we have a strong multiple a seven so i think we need to pick a hand because we need another discard so we have seven, eight, nine, five, seven. If we can get white dragons or jokers, we could play knitted. Let's give up on, let's see, five, seven, nine. Let's give up on the nine band. That'll be a good safe pass too. Let's see what happens. Oh, one, two west, not good. 
We, we yeah, we can't use these, so that'll be a good pass. Okay, uh, I'm just wondering if we could make this better and give up the eight dot with the one crack. Those are year tiles, but at least they're two different suits. The one, two together with one crack, two bam, that could fit right into the biggest hand on the card, the pair hand. It's best to try to pass defensively. If you can, we got a two. Let's keep the seven for an option. We still do have a little bit of potential for like numbers with sevens. That's a little bit risky passing a two bam and a three bam, but we'll see. The two bam was going around. Maybe nobody wants it. So what would be really nice is a white dragon. That would be a gift because then we could play the knitted five, seven, nine hand, fourth one down. But uh, people tend not to pass white dragons, which I think is a very wise choice. So let's see here. We could pass the six as a, an equal risk to the nine, and the nine is in our big odds range. Let's keep that nine. Okay, we did get a seven. So now we have here a five, seven, nine. We do have two tiles we can pass without affecting our remaining tiles. But if they want three tiles across from me, I think we could go ahead and give up the nine bam and pass fully. So we're in between like numbers with sevens or big odds knitted, third or fourth hand down on the right. That's the one with the dragons in mixed suit. And we never did get a white dragon. We did pick up a nine though. That's the first um, instance of a nine in the Charleston. So anytime someone says you never get anything in the second Charleston, that's not true. We just got a nine dot and that wasn't going around or I would have kept it. So you do get fresh tiles in the second Charleston. I think that is a myth. So we have all the sevens, we have a pung of sevens, and pairs of fives and nines. I really think if we can get that white dragon, the knitted hand would be a really good choice. The other options would be five, seven, nine, let's see, let's give up the two. We could maybe play the five, seven, nine hand. Uh, let's see, five, nine with flowers, fifth one down. We could maybe play the third hand down on the right. So we still have lots of options. We have two discards before we really have to decide. If you get a one bam, you could do addition. One bamboo. Uh, let's see, we got a one crack. Let's get rid of the three. three bamboo. Let's see, seven, five, 12, seven, five. five we do have a one bam here. Let's hold on to it. Maybe we could play addition. Seven dot five crack, and then one, two, bam. Nine, bam Good bam call, bam. Peggy. There are there are Eight, two, bam. two bams out. Uh, we just got a five now. Bam, five, seven, nine. So I'm going to hold that. We're going to have to decide here in a minute. Five, Let's see. Five, seven, seven, nine. I think probably the seven nine, bam characters. can go. I do not claim a discard for a tile nine, unless I know nine. what hand I'm playing. And we got a flower. Bam, bam, Look bam. at that. Isn't that nice? So now I'm thinking, oh boy, either five, seven, nine, and one Eight suit, characters. third hand down, use the five and nine as joker bait. Two characters. I think I'm going to give up on the nine cracks at this point. Pung. Okay, we got a consecutive run hand going across from us, three two, three, four, five. So three cracks and four bams are needed over there. Three characters. Of course, the player to my left is playing an east-west hand. They could be playing the news Kong hand, though. Okay, four bam three is bam going bam. to be a hot tile. I did discard a two bam a long time ago before I had a one. Characters. 
Okay, let's see. Five, let's get rid of the seven because we could play five, seven, nine and use the uh, Joker there as the white dragon. I think we have to decide though. I think this one, there are two, two bams out. Let's just see what happens. Pass on that. Welcome, Judy. I think I forgot to say hi. Four bamboos. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of the eight. If we played eight, seven, eight, or the five, seven, nine with dragons, uh, there is a white dragon. Oh, there's the second white dragon out. Yep, I wouldn't do that. But I would use the pair of flowers as joker bait. Okay, I'm not going to call that. We've got no two and there's two two bams out so i don't think i would play the addition hand let's go ahead and get rid of the nine cracks though and hold on to the addition option and see oh wait a minute yeah 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 we need a two bam if we draw that two bam we could do addition oh we got a nine let's keep the nine dot Nine. So I'm thinking probably the strongest option is going to be the third hand down. I'm concerned about the player across from me. There is a four bam out, which they did not take, incidentally, and that was two rounds of discards ago. So I don't think they were ready, or they would have taken it. Let's get rid of the nine. Nine characters. So uh, let's see here. There are no two dots out. Four characters. Let's see what happens. If I draw that four bam, I'm going to switch to defense. If I draw a wind, okay, there's a hesitation there. So they're playing news, Kong hand. Oh, we got a nine. Keep it. So I think we could go ahead and leverage the pung of nine dots and give up on the addition hand. And we have Joker bait with the five cracks, but it looks like nobody wanted it. Okay, so white dragon went down. There are, there's one Where's nine the there's one nine dot out so we're gonna need a joker for that we've got more than a full wall left so this hand is viable I'm a little concerned again about the player across from me uh, the player to my left there's one south out so they're gonna need a pair there we'll see what happens this north joker is available four dots we're going to need another joker for the nine dot, probably. Six dots. Oh, they got their joke. They probably got a joker. Yep, they got a joker. Okay, very nice. All right, so two, three, four, five. That would be the second hand down under consecutive run. Two suits. And uh, Marsha needed uh, to kong the west and then be left with a pair so she was one away very nice and then we have a two four six eight pung pung kong kong this would be the second from the bottom under evens okay two hands down let's see if we can keep going here that was a good table yeah that addition hand was a good one um for the tiles we had um, in hindsight, it would have been nice to keep that too, but it just didn't fit at the moment. I had no one when I had the two, and then I had a one and no two, and two bams were out. So let's see what we can do now. We do have one flower. Uh, <laughs> Marsha was just saying she knew she needed the four bams. She just held her breath, and there she, she picked it. Okay, so we have a pair of threes, and we do have a representation of sixes and nines. So I'm thinking we could do three, four, five, six consecutive run. We've got a little gap there of no five. So I would minimize that opportunity. I think probably leveraging the three, three, six, nine category is going to be good. My only... Um, the only thing about the 369 category is it's a bit limited because only three numbers are involved. 369. So 369 with maybe a dragon, depending on whether it's mixed suit or what. Actually, the dragon, there's a mixed suit and a single 
one suit option. So it's very limited, the 369 category. But if you have a strong representation of 369, no gaps, I think it's a good category. And in this case, we have a pung of threes. So uh, since we had a very light number of tiles for consecutive run, I think the 369 category is going to be the best. We have no jokers, so a pair hand is a potential there. We'd have to throw away a three, though. I'd rather leverage the three. So I'm thinking 369 category. What do you guys think? 369. Oh my gosh, we're waiting for me. Oops. Oh, oh it's been a long day, I have to say. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Here I am twiddling my thumbs thinking, come on now, what's going on? And it's me, it was me. <laughs> All right, we didn't get any keepers. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got an east, west. I think we should break up these wins one at a time. Okay, let's pass mixed suits here. Oh, five, I think, a, let's see, seven, eight, Let's pass the 7-8 so we're not left with 5-7. Either way, it's going to be risky. There's always a level of risk in every pass. So we're looking for 3-6-9. A red dragon wouldn't be bad. We got a green. Maybe we could do knitted if we can get a 6-bam. The knitted hand for 3-6-9 is second from the bottom. We have a pair of East. Oh, maybe we could play a Quint with no jokers. Oh, oh, uh oh. I'm kind of thinking we could play a Quint with no jokers. That would be my signature move. Of course, eventually we need jokers, but we're starting out with no jokers. That would be a Quint with no jokers. But look at, we've got two pair. We've got East and Greens. Now maybe we could keep the nine crack in case we get six bams and play three, six, nine. Let's see what happens. The first quint is what I'm thinking. If we can get two jokers, that's all you really need. So let's see what happens. If anybody is cringing at this idea of playing a quint with no jokers, right? Pound cringe in the comment section under chat right pound cringe right now I think pound cringe should be one of my mottos we got a west and a north okay let's see here let's keep the east west I wonder if we can keep the north maybe what we ought to do here is give up on 369 and instead focus on Winds and Dragons, and hope for a Quint. Uh, let's see. Everybody wants to keep going. Let's give up on the six crack and give up the, the nine. Let's go for it. Pound cringe. Okay, Kathy, I hear ya. I'm cringing inside a little bit too. We're going to switch to Winds and Dragons or a Quint instead. The, the 369 did not come in. And the multiples now are with the winds and dragons. Even though we have a pung of threes, the only way to really use that, oh, someone just gave me like numbers. But we did get now a north. Okay, so we have to decide right now. Um, north, east, west, green. East, west, green. I think I'm going to give up on the three crack. Three crack, there it goes. So I'm thinking Winds and Dragons. We're switching to Winds and Dragons to leverage the most of our multiples. And that happens sometimes. Just go with the flow, build around the most of your multiples. Since we didn't get any 369, the three cracks just did not help. We'll see if the quit opportunity comes back though. I'm thinking Winds and Dragons might come back. Let's see.
Okay, we didn't get any wins. We did get a nine, which is hilarious uh, because we were playing three, six, nine, and we got a nine. Isn't that the way it goes sometimes, though? You give up on something and then you start getting it? Yeah, happens to me all the time. And that's okay. You just go with the flow. Make the best choice you can at the time. We got an east. And we got the three back. Look at that. I still think a quint is a good possibility. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking that we could maybe ask for two. We'll straddle. Let's just take two. And we'll go between the quint or winds and dragons. Maybe use the greens as joker bait. I'm thinking east, three, green, quint. And all we need are two jokers right now. But we got to get them at the right time. Oh, everybody wants two. Oh. Okay, we're first. There we go. Four done. Here we go. Quint with no jokers. Six Primarily five. because we got the three back. I think I would have focused on winds and dragons. Uh, we could have maybe focused on east and west with greens. That's a possibility. Oh, we're not ready for it. I'm not taking that. Okay, now we got a flower. So we have another multiple there. I'm thinking we still have some time to decide. Maybe this next pick we'll have to decide. But we do have a pair of flowers now. Maybe the news concealed hand. Use the threes as joker bait. We got another flower. We'll give up the three at this point. East and west with greens. Second hand down. Nobody wanted that three. Three bamboos. Okay, so now we will need jokers to help us with the east. Bamboos. But we've got our pair. All we need at this point are jokers. East and west with greens. I don't really like picking my hand this early, but sometimes you got to pick a hand. With this card, I find that I'm picking a hand early for some reason, it just feels like I have to pick a hand much earlier than in previous years. If anybody else feels the same way, let me know in the chat if you feel that same way, that you have to pick a hand. We don't want that. So we want joker bait opportunity. Since nobody wanted that north, I think we should go ahead and get rid of those and hold the threes. Maybe we can get a joker out of these threes. I know someone threw a three, or I did. I threw a three earlier. Nobody wanted it. But maybe they just weren't ready for it. Four dots. Okay, there is a joker. We need that. We really need that for the east, but I'm going to kind of earmark it for the west. Because if we get a west or another joker and the west goes down, we can make an exposure for that and then wait for a joker. Either way, we need another joker for that. There it is. Okay, now we can claim. If, if the west goes down, we can claim it and complete that block of four. Kong of west. And then we just need another joker for the east. So we're, we're good to go here. We, we have three flowers. We can Kong there. And there is there are no flowers out right now. So let's see how this goes. East and west with greens. That would be the second hand down. Nine bamboos. And those jokers did come in. If not for the flowers, I totally would have played that quint. Seven characters. More times than not, you can count on two jokers from the wall. I've kind of monitored that over time, and I can almost count on two jokers One in a game through the wall. The flowers are unpredictable. So if you need a pair of flowers, try not to play a, a hand with one flower. One dot. Unless you have one flower, I should say. If you have one flower in your hand, go ahead and play a, a hand that requires a pair of flowers. Otherwise, you may not want to pick those hands. The, one of the previous games I was in just a few minutes ago, I had no flowers, and I was playing a hand that required a pair, and they never came through. Okay, so we need a pair there. We don't need to call that. Two dots. We're playing east and west with greens and four flowers. 
Done. And we do have Joker bait with a pair of threes. Although a three crack went out earlier, nobody took it, so it may be safe. Seven characters. Seven dots. It'd be nice to get a keeper about right now. A joker would be awesome. Okay, now there are three seven dots out. No, none have been discarded, so that joker is available. Wind. Oh, one. We don't need that. That's the first one. Bam, though. Bamboo. Nobody wanted it. That's good. It looks pretty right now, oh Peg. I do Winds like Winds and Dragons. Oh, see, there we go. Kong. Kong. Okay, discard the three. three so now we need a Joker for the East because the East was discarded earlier. Let's see, East Pick has 5% chance of being a Joker. East Pick. I don't understand. Michelle is frozen. What does that mean? Am I am I locking up? I'm not experiencing any delay on my end. It could be your internet, maybe. Um, each, let's see. Each pick has, oh, each pick. <laughs> I thought you said east. Okay, Judy, that that is interesting. 5%. Okay, well, that is an interesting uh, figure. Let's see what happens. You don't see me moving. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's not a good look right there. Um, West Wind. Oh, somebody got my Joker. Two dots. Let's see here. I wonder if I can re. Let's see. Restore. Five no. Characters. Get rid of the four. I am frozen four there. Damage. That's interesting. Um, my photo is frozen. Four dots. Let's see. Display. One dot. I'm going to close my, I'm going to close it. My lips are moving past. Okay. I think we're okay now. How's it looking in the live stream? Okay. I, I stopped my OBS software and restarted. So there was a, um, it did look like it got stuck, but my webcam seems to be picking me up now. Okay. Sorry about that. That's going to be a little wonky in the in the repost, I think, but we'll make it work. Six oh, we need a Joker badly at this point, really badly. There, Seven this West is available, by the way. So uh, let's see. I don't think I missed anything through that uh, technical difficulty. The game does continue. The show must go on. Two bamboos. That's what my mom would say. The show must go on, people. Six bamboos. We got the Joker. Look at there. Look at there. We got it. Okay. All we need is a flower now. I don't think anyone's going to be throwing a flower about right now, though. Two bamboos. There are no flowers out right now. Eight that might be a problem. Let's hope it's that they are all in the wall. Four bamboos. And let's hope for Three good dots. discards because we have two concealed hands at the moment. Red dragon. We need a flower. Well, yep, you're right. Thank you, Peg. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, my goodness. We need four flowers. We could use a joker in there. We need a flower or a west at this point. Crush yeah. fingers. Nine bamboos. Would anybody Nine throw bamboos. a joker at this late stage in this game? One I don't character. think so. I'm going to get ready to click on this white west. Three bamboos. Oh, shoot. Nine characters. We are ready to win. Four characters. Mm. We get one, two more picks. 
two more picks. Red dragon. Oh, darn. Oh. Shoot. Okay, one more pick. We get one more pick. South wind. Oh. Oh. Ugh, darn it. Okay, so there was a flower in the wall because there are one, two, three, four, oh no, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no, they were all in everybody's hand. Oh darn, I needed a joker. Okay, <laughs> very nice. All right, well, let's look. Oops, I forgot to look at what they won. Five, seven, nine, one suit. This would be the third hand down. They had jokers. And then uh, over here, let's see, this would be North. North was playing five, seven, five, six, seven knitted. They were kind of in between. They might have switched to defense. I'm not sure. They might have been trying for five, seven, nine. They probably were in between. And then Miss Marsha was playing a year hand or like numbers with twos. Looks like she was kind of in between. All right, here we go. We'll play again. Oh, flowers. Flowers are the bane of my existence. They are hard to come by. We got a flower. I was just going to say maybe we should play a no flower hand. But we have a, a pair of flowers. So we have a pair of fives and a pair of eights. Another pair of fives. Two pairs of fives. We're keeping those fives. Maybe uh, to leverage the fives and the dragons or the flowers here, we should play like numbers with fives and flowers. Use the eights as joker bait. Let's see. We could do five, seven, seven, nine, though, and use the flowers as joker bait later. I'm thinking like numbers with fives, though. The flowers have the same odds as, yep, because there are eight of each. That makes sense. I don't want to pass one suit, actually. This is not good. We have to make a choice right now. Let's pass cracks and a dot. Uh, six, seven, dot, nine crack, six crack, nine crack, seven dot. Let's focus on maybe like numbers with fives and use the eights as joker bait. Since we have one, two, three, four pair, four multiples, we use the most of our multiples that go together, and that means like numbers with fives and flowers. Okay, we did get a dragon. We could play like numbers with fives and dragons. That was a good pass for us. We got a keeper. This would be the first hand under like numbers. Pair of flowers, Kongs of fives, and then the dragon for the missing suit. That's a, a nice hand. I like I like like numbers. Fives and nines with flowers. Yeah, I would have had to. I mean, we could potentially do that. I'll hold the nine. Let's see if it comes back. We'd have to give away two pair as opposed to use two pair. Um, I think that's one reason why I didn't consider that, but that is a good hand, and it's a 30-point hand, too. That That is a nice hand. That would be the third from the bottom under big odd, under odds, 5-9 with six flowers. I'm thinking like numbers with fives, though, is stronger. So let's see if we can get some fives or maybe a red. No five, but we have tiles we can pass. And we have potential joker bait with the eights.
All right, let's see. I got to make a quick note here. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry, I got to make a a note to Slava real quick here. Okay, here we go. We got a five. That's a keeper. And we have tiles to pass. Now, here's the thing. We have a pair of eights. I, if we get keepers, I do not want to be stuck with a pair. So I think we should break it up. If we happen to get all keepers, I would not want to pass a pair. We got a five. That would be a keeper. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Let's pass the three. Two. Uh, this is all a bit risky, but look at the hand really developed. This hand is actually uh, one away from set. We need a red dragon to really get comfy. Okay, no keepers here, and we've got tiles we can pass. Let's see. So Linda said, hold your north for north-south with fives. Oh, if I have a gap, I lower that option as far as priorities are concerned. Since I have no south and no multiples with north and, north and south, I would not consider north and south with nines. Plus, we have no five crack. Those are two gaps, no south, no five crack. So I would, I, I think that's a nice idea, but I don't, I think that like numbers with five leveraging the pungs is much stronger. Let's get rid of the nine. Now, nine if we get four dots, we could switch to consecutive Eight run characters. pungs. Four, five, four, five, and two suits. I want to hold that four. Two but I, I do think like numbers is going to be the strongest option right now. South wind. There's another joker. So now Sorry. this hand is set. We can Kong the fives and the dragon. Nine characters. So this hand is actually set at the moment. We'll see what we get. If we get a four dot, One dot. or a four bam, we might switch to the concealed pung hand. Basically, it would be four, five in dots and four, five in bams. Nine. Um, are, Judy, are you talking about the four, five pun concealed hand? I actually like that hand. I think that's a really pretty hand. The toughest non-single and pair hand on the card, the concealed pun hand. One, two, one, two. In this case, four, five, four, five. Three if you got the right tiles, though, and Joker's help, of course. We'll see what happens. North wind. If a five goes down, North I will wind. take it. If the red goes down, I will take it. Three dot. But if the four dot or four bam comes in, I might play that Three concealed characters. pung hand. Oh, the north and south, east, west with pairs. Oh, those are hard. West wind. Those are really pretty hands, though, actually. All right, six. now we have a, a third flower. We could potentially play fives with six flowers. Three bamboo. Actually, that's a higher point hand. I think we should maybe switch to that, actually. One Get an extra, you know, 15, 20 points. Because that's a 30-point hand. Fives with six flowers. We're set for that, six too. Characters. Let's give up the two. Yeah, north and south with odds and east and west with evens. Those are pretty hands, but they are kind of hard to get. South wind. Chrysanthemum. We're going to pung. Pung. We're going for like numbers with Three flowers. Numbers. The hand is actually set. One dot. 
there are no five cracks out. One, so two, three, we are semi stealth mode. Oh yeah, you know what? You're right. East and west. Okay, we're gonna Kong that. Kong. Okay, we're ready on a flower or a five bam, and they don't know if we need a five crack or a five bam here. That is in one, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven discards. East ready west. to win in seven discards. I think that's pretty good. I've been uh, playing solitaire and tracking my uh, discards to a ready hand to try to learn more about style and strategy. And you'll see that in the next cycle of videos. I'm adding um, another video called uh, Solitaire Plus where I'm going to track strategy and style. I'm going to need input, though, because I don't know if there's going to be interest. I myself am interested in tracking that information because I would like to see American Mahjong. There we go, Mahjong. I would really like to see American Mahjong gain more respect from the community at large. And so I think if I make an effort to really talk more about style and strategy that it may garner some respect because this is a game of strategy it is not a game of luck people think that when i say people i mean asian version players they think that because there are jokers luck is more involved but that is not necessarily true and if you play american mahjong you know that. But if you do not play American Mahjong, the idea of having jokers instantly brings the idea of greater luck being involved. But that is not necessarily the case. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's see. Linda says, I trust your instinct. All your videos have been so helpful. Love the strategies. Okay, so this Solitaire Plus is going to be much more about strategy. I'm going to be tracking the results. So if you're not interested in heavy strategy, just don't watch those videos. Just watch the other ones. But if you want to really follow my journey on, on uh, figuring out style and strategy and what really is the best strategy for American Mahjong, you can follow that Solitaire Plus idea. Ring the bell. Oh, the bell. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is what Peggy was talking about. I won. Okay, wait, let me take my hand away there. There, I won. I won a 30-point hand. So I rung my bell. Thank you, Peggy. Okay, let's see if we can join another table here. We got a win. So that was, um, let's see, we played three games. We got a win. Let's see. Some people say that you win about 25% of the games. So let's kind of keep an eye on that and see if that is true. I think it really depends on who you're playing with, though. Some people play a defensive game, some do not. If you're playing at a table where you have all very defensive players, it's going to be a much more strategic game than if you play with someone who is not defensive. If you play with people who are not defensive, they're going to be passing things like like numbers, pairs, flowers. In those cases, it's kind of a six, one, half dozen, the other in regards to strategy or to uh, luck. So uh, these are some of, the, some of the things that I'm sort of tracking as far as when I play Mahjong, I'm, I'm looking at those things. Uh, let's see, Linda, I play, you play cribbage with a friend, and when someone gets skunked, 
we either have to do the skunk dance or ring a bell. <laughs> okay, have you seen this? Oops. This is a, a singing bowl, I think is what it's called. Is that right, Peggy? A singing bowl. It is from yoga, and it's got a little handle here. Isn't that pretty? You can, there's like felt over the, the hammer here, and it has two different sounds. Isn't that nice? So instead of playing for money, Peggy's group rings the bell. If you win, there's no money exchange, but you ring the bell. That is your um, kudos, really. It's the kudo bowl. It's the, the kudo ring, whatever, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, am I out of focus? Okay. I'm not stuck. At least I'm not stuck. Let's see here. Out of focus. Hold on. Okay, I was looking kind of, oof. Okay, in my, oh my goodness. These bangs. Okay, here we go. We have no flowers, okay, so I'm not going to pick a hand with a pair of flowers. I'm telling you that right now. All right, we've got two jokers, though, and we do have a pair of fives, so that's where I'm going to start. I'm starting with my fives. That is what I'm going to base my decisions on right now, that pair of fives. So we do have a lot of two, three, four, five. Since we have two twos and two sixes, it could be either two, three, four, five or three, four, five, six. Three, four, two, three, four, five, six. There is a three uh, mixed suit five number range. This would be the fourth hand down. This is one of those situations where you have to pick a hand right away. So let's go ahead and see what happens there. Keep the four and six. Oh, I don't have a six crack. That was a six bam. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm thinking the fourth hand down. We just picked up another multiple. I'm thinking the fourth hand down under consecutive run. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. I'm thinking to use the most of our multiples. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm thinking that is going to be probably um, the strongest play here. We have singles. Oh, we just got a pair. We got a pair. We're keeping it. There we go. Now this is going to be a risky pass, but we're playing a 30-point hand. I'm going to risk it. Two, three, four, five, six. We have no gaps. This is the fourth hand down under consecutive run. All we need to do is pair up the three, four, and we'll be set. We need to pair up the three, four, and we'll be set. Oh, darn. Okay. We've got tiles to pass, though, so that's okay. Two, three, four, five, six, fourth hand down. This is the five suit mixed, or the five number mixed suit hand. It's the only one like it on the card. All the other consecutive run hands are either two, three, or four numbers in a range. This is five numbers in a range, thankfully. Oh, let's see, where are we? I'm going to pass like numbers because we're, we're almost set. I'm going to push. I'm going to pass like numbers. Sometimes you got to risk. Um, take the risk with these passes because if your hand is close to set, go for it, in, in my opinion. Like numbers is not good as a rule, but I'll do it if I'm set. And we're one away from being set right now. We need a three bam or a four bam to get set. And that means that you can claim a discard for the um, major tiles or the major blocks in your hand. In this case, we have three discards, so we're good to go for a full pass. We need a five crack, a six dot. What I'd really like to have is a three bam or a four bam. I didn't see any of those come through though, the Charleston, so we'll see. The five number hand in consecutive run, 
the other one is all one suit and we have mixed suits so those are the two five number range hands and in this case we had fives and two three four that's why i went with this one two three four five six mixed suits pair 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 kong kong we got the five back that's kind of funny Okay, so we have three discards. Three characters. If we can draw that 3-4 bam, that would be really nice. Four bamboo. Oh, now why didn't I get that? I, I wanted that in the Charleston, and then they discard it. Nine dots. That's disappointing. Two characters. So one four bam is out. We'll have to keep an eye on that. One character, eight dots, nine bamboos, sixth hand down in odd. Dots. That is a five number range, but that that is uh, definitely in you know a, a different kind of concept the the four numbers in a range that i usually work with when i play consecutive run is because those numbers can give you the greatest flexibility in that category since there's only one mixed suit five number range oh we got the three look at that we got it we're set now okay we're gonna kong it Kong. Okay, we're one away. Uh, let's see here. Judy, you play with the shul for no money, and we are very defensive, but we are experienced players. Oh, that's nice. What does it mean, play at? Oh, you play at the shul. What does that mean? Uh, we'll discard that. Four dots. Uh, six hand, hand down under odds. One, three, five, seven, nine. Those are very specific numbers. In consecutive run, you have so much flexibility because you're working with number three tiles. Characters. Since there are three numbered suits, one through nine, you have a lot of flexibility if you work with four numbers in a range, four to five. Oh Actually, four to five numbers in a range. Seven it is the greatest, uh, the category with the greatest flexibility on the card. One dot. So we need a six dot, a five crack, or a four band at the moment. White dragon. Eight bamboos. Two four cracks are out. Four characters. It'd be nice to draw that five crack and get that joker back. Five bamboos. We're good there. We don't need that. Shul is Jewish for synagogue. Oh, okay. Four okay, thank you. Four dots. One bamboo. I think we'll be able to get one more game in after this. Three characters. East wind. It'd be nice to draw. Oh, flower. I'm getting rid of it now. Orchid. I do not want to be holding on to a flower. Uh, let's see, Judy, my group doesn't play for money either, Eight and at dots. the least you play defensively. Hey, Judy, you should get a singing bowl like, like Peggy in their group. Peggy, Seven. you'll have to let us know where you got this. Where did you get this? Because it, it, that would be a really fun uh, thing for people to do. Eight. Ring that bell when you win. That's kind of nice, and it makes everybody smile. Four you know, some uh, public venues do not allow people to play for money, so ringing a bell is kind of a nice idea. Amazon.com. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Kong. Oh, we got a south out. There are no north out. There are four, uh, let's see, two east are out. So most likely they're playing north and south with flowers, maybe. Wind. North and south with dragons. North and south with odds. I'm getting rid of these odds. Three dots. There are two five bams out. I want to get rid of that. Seven dots. 
east. West. I'd like to know where my six dot is. One character. Oh, seven dot. Okay, I'm getting rid of the five. Five bamboos. There are two seven dots out. One character. Six characters. Nine dots. Oh, we got the four. We got the four. Seven we dots. got the four. Yay. Two, three, four. We need a six dot to win, and we are semi-stealth mode. Nobody knows what we're playing. We have one exposure. If you have one exposure, nobody knows what you're doing, unless they have a photographic memory and they know exactly what you've discarded. Green dragon. Five dots. Yeah, Marsha. Uh, when I play in a restaurant, we order food too. It's really kind of a thank you. It shows good, um, good faith to the venue it, because you're playing there for a long time. So if you order, it's kind of nice. Seven characters. Oh, five bam. I think we had all of those tiles. We need a six dot or a five crack. Green dragon. No six dots are out, which is a concern. Five dots. We're in the end game now. Eight bamboo. Mahjong. Mahjong, we got it. Okay, instead of clapping. Oh, I need to not hold the bowl. Okay, here we go. That's a 30 point hand, so I'm gonna ring twice. Maybe the low tone should be a 30 point hand and the high tone should be a 25 point hand. <laughs> okay, all right, well, let's see what everybody was doing here. So this player, we have uh, North, two, four, six, two, ooh, they were probably trying for maybe the pair hand. Uh, two, four, six, two, eight, two. I think they were trying for the pair hand. Uh, let's see. We have here east. They were trying for north and south with reds, but they they and they had their pair secured, which is good. They couldn't get flowers. If you can't get those flowers, I'm telling you that hurts. Then we have eight nine with reds, and the reds were a Kong. And the reds were in another hand. So, okay, here we go. One more game. We're going to play one more game. Hang with me if you can. We'll play one more. So we have a 50% win rate right now. Let's see if we could get another one in. We could have a 75% win rate. Okay, so let's see what we got. We have two pairs, threes and sixes. Guess what that means? Three, six, nine. Even though we have a gap, we would leverage both multiples. Three, six, nine. 369, I'm not going to pick a hand yet, but 369 and mixed suit Kongs, that's pretty likely at this point. And we have lots of discards. Let's mix it up though. 8-2, let's give up the 8-2. Oh, eight, oh, I don't want to pass like uh, the year tiles together, but I kind of feel like we have to to some degree. Let's pass East 5-8. I think that's a really good pass. Oh, Linda, such a happy sound. Nice job. The restaurant where you play twice a week lets you keep a couple of sets in their cupboard. Oh, that's nice. So we don't have to carry them. Oh, that's very nice. All right, we have a three. Since that's in the category, I'm keeping it. And we do have tiles we can pass. We need to break up the twos, though, I think. Let's keep the two bams so we have a two four in mixed suits for the next pass, just in case we get keepers. And then we'll have a south two one in two different suits. Here we go. It'd be nice to get nine dots. That would be ideal. Uh, three nine twelve. What? Three nine twelve. Nine three twelve. You have one flower, maybe nine three twelve. We'd have to throw away a pair of sixes. Okay, well, let's keep the two and see what happens. We'll keep the two for a potential addition. 
Thank you for that, Marsha, because I usually do not even go there. I just feel like that, that category is so specific, you have to pick a hand right away. And I just prefer to stay flexible. I prefer to stay flexible if I can, especially if you have a gap, and we have a gap right now. So let's see what happens. We did pick up a six, three, six, six, nine. We do have a pair of eights now, though. I think we need to give up on the potential addition, although now we have eights and twos. We're definitely going to keep with the Charleston. Like numbers with threes, like numbers with sixes, three, six, six, nine. You know what? Oh, we could pass like numbers here and keep our options open. Oh, since we have two multiples, let's do it. I think I'm going to give up on the addition hand because I want to leverage my multiples. My multiples are with threes and six, the three six, three six nine and mixed suits. If we had a nine dot, that would be perfect. Oh, we got the darn two. Okay, so we have tiles we can pass here. We really don't have to pick it. I'm going to go ahead and pass it. Sorry for anyone who wants to play addition. I'm giving it up because we have a gap. Even though we have a gap with um, the nines in the 369, at least we're leveraging both multiples. I really think that's the strongest strategy here. <gasps> oh, you're kidding me. We got a pair of fours. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Three, four. Three, four, three, four. Three, four, three, four, pun hand. Sixes, joker bait. I don't know. I want to leverage those fours now. Oh my goodness. We could still play three, six, nine, though. Three, four. Look at that. Hmm. You win with addition quite often. Hmm. Do you find that you have to pick a hand early, though, when you play like uh, the addition category? I think that's my sort of, you know, um, I don't know, hesitation with that category is typically you have to pick a hand. Okay, since east and west with, goes with greens, I do not want to pass to east and a west. I think I'll pass the one BAM and the green together. So we could still play th like uh, 369 with the nine, uh, 369 if we get a nine dot, or we could play 3434 four consecutive run. We have Joker Bait with the sixes, maybe, or the fours, depending on which way we go. And we have three discards East, North wind. East eight and two. Let's get rid of the eight crack. Eight characters. Consecutive run with five dots or five cracks. Oh, yeah, that's a good option, too. Thank you, Linda. Three, four, five, one suit. That would be the fifth hand down. That's a good choice. Let's, uh, let's get rid of the wins. Great minds think alike. Oh, yes. Two bamboos. Okay, we don't want that. Eight characters. <clears throat> we need to draw. We need to draw well. Oh, I'm going to Kong it. Kong. Okay, so we got to make this work. You know, we could play three, four, five, six if we can get the five bam. Three, four, five, six, second hand down. So let's give up this three here. And if we get a 5 bam or a 9 dot, that will solidify it. We probably can get rid of this. Six dots. Oh, let's get rid of the 2. Two bamboo. We have Joker Bait now with the 8 dots. Even though there's 1 out, nobody wanted it. Red Dragon. 3, 4, 5, 6 we could play. Second hand down under consecutive Red run. Bamboos. That would leverage the pair that was given to me so generously during the Charleston. Oh, we got another flower. Three dots. So now we're in between 369 with mixed suits. There are no nine dots out yet. West and we do have Joker bait with the eights. So we'll see what happen, happens. Jokers are fives. Maybe. 
Yeah, we don't need that. Nobody wants the eight dots. So these are good safe tiles. East wind. So we'll see. Whatever we draw mm -hmm. first, sure. I think should be the direction we go. Although we can Where call for that? three and four in Pungs. So uh, let's see, Judy, you try to build a concurrent hand with the addition possibility. Oh, that's really good. I like that thought process, a fallback hand. For the first hand under consecutive run, you can fall back to 369. For the second one, 48, you can fall back to evens. And for the 57, you can fall back to big odds. So each one of those can go to other categories. And if you fill a gap, you can go to consecutive too. So that is a really good point. Even though you have to pick a hand early, you do have some switch capability. So we're in between three, four, five, six consecutive runs, second hand down, or we could leverage the flowers and play three, six, nine if we get the nine dot. I think that might be it's kind of six one half dozen the other at this point north wind so we'll see what happens here four bamboos five dots. whatever we get first as far as drawing and i'm kind of hoping that the three and the four don't go down because if those go down i might have to take it three four crack would you guys take the Not pungs bamboos. And play three, four, five, six with a gap, or would you hold out for the nine dot? Either way, there's gaps. There's an eight bam we don't need. Eight bamboos. Someone's thinking on that one. Five bamboos. If the three, four crack, oh, there goes the five bam. Oh, there's two Seven out now. Mmm. Two five bams are out. We're going to need two jokers. Oh, shoot. Oh, we got the joker. Look at that. Okay. Three, four, five, six. There's one nine dot out. One, two five bams are out. Two dots. Oh, my goodness. Three, four, five, six. Maybe we could use the flowers. I'm going to pung it. We're going to use the flowers as joker bait. Because we can call for the four. We'll see. Six I don't know. Mm. Five bamboos. If that made anybody cringe, cringe. There goes my other five right Four there. Characters. We're going to con it. Oh, oh no. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Plus. I was supposed to hit Pung, not Kong. When you play at Mahjong time, click the right button. Let's see if anybody calls me dead because my hand is you dead. Win. That was a mistake, and it happens to the best of us. Oh. Seven characters. Get rid of the flower. Chrysanthemum. Oh, shoot, I hit the wrong darn button. If you are just, I don't even know how close I was. I don't know what made me click Kong. Three, four, Kong. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's painful. Oh, they got it. They called me dead. All right. Oh, dang it. Okay, now that we have a dead hand, we have to play one more game. I can't end on a dead hand. Oh, for goodness sake. White dragon. Okay, well, humble pie is tasty, isn't it? Three dots. Yeah, we're done. We'll play one more hand because I don't want to. I don't want to end the night on a a dead hand. South wind. If you'd like to stick around for another hand, please do. Five dots. Six dots. I may have to edit that out. I'm just saying right now. Eight. Okay, Judy says you conned a tile that I thought was a flower and ended up with a Kong of one bams. And then you, do, were you able to switch your hand? Let's see, you conged a tile that you thought was a flower and ended up with a Kong of one bams. Oh, when they discarded the one bam, you thought it was a flower and you used, did you use all jokers? Oh, that's painful. Oh my goodness. 
Even advanced players make mistakes. I'll just admit that right now. Since we're Seven live, years. I kind of have to. Yes, Linda, in Mahjong time, if you call a player dead, you get 25 points. Four characters. Oh, and they, oh, that, I don't, they should not have gotten that joker because that joker is what called my hand dead. That should not have occurred, mm. I think, because that is what made my hand dead. Uh, yes, shoot. Am. Oh, bummer. That would have set me to, no, I wasn't set. I needed another joker. Six oh, well, that's okay. Now we just have to wait. Seven characters. I would like to have another game to redeem myself. Oh, shoot. All right, well, now you all know I am far from perfect. We're just going to announce that now. I am far from perfect. I make mistakes. As a matter of fact, I played recently with a group in South Carolina, and I had, I didn't have a losing streak, but, um, I I was getting my my fanny whipped. I got beat. I got a beat down in South Carolina. Good players there. That's Peggy's group. Good players in Peggy's group. Uh, yeah, they should not have been able to take that joker because that's what made my hand dead. Even though my hand was not called dead immediately, that is what made my hand dead. They should not have been able to take that joker. Bamboo. Yeah, I was dead because I conged instead of punged, but they should not have been able to take that joker because that's what made my hand dead. Orchid. Okay, so Linda asked about marking your card. I just use a Sharpie, but what I do is I remark it when I see that the... the the dots fade or get smudged off, I remark it with a Sharpie. Uh, I've used dot stickers in the past and they fall off. So I, yes, Peggy, you do have fun. That is such a fun group. I hope I can play with you guys again soon. Um, but with a, as far as marking your card, I think the best option is a Sharpie and then just keep an eye on the dots and re-dot them with your Sharpie when they go dull. Yep, you're welcome. It's better than losing dots, which I have done. I have had dots fall on the floor. We've been at a restaurant and dots would be on the floor. We don't know where they go or who they're for. Okay. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh, my goodness. That was a, a real drag. The other thing they need to fix at Mahjong time is when a hand is dead, they don't show the winning hand, so we have no idea what, what they're playing. So you can see here, I have negative 75 points because my hand went dead. So the 25 points from my dead hand went to Silver Tiger, who was the player who called me dead. And incidentally, for the record, I really don't like that term. I don't know what the alternative is, but I really just don't like that term. Uh, let's see. Alieska uses, you use, cor let's see. I use correction on the card and mark it with dots. You use correction? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, let's see if we can uh, have a good hand here to redeem that boo-boo. I can't believe I did that because I was one away from ready, even though I needed jokers because my fives were out. So I needed jokers. You use correction tape. You use correction tape on the card. Oh, the term, Donna. I don't like the term dead. I think it, it just kind of... Uh, I just don't like that term, you're dead. Um, your hand is dead. You're dead. It, it's just, I don't, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, I remember one time I was playing with somebody who had a loved one pass away recently. And there was a situation at the table and we had to say, your hand is dead. And I just, well, it just makes me really uncomfortable. I don't know how to explain it. It, it could just be me. I just don't like it. I don't know, does anybody else feel that way? 
<laughs> or is it just me? Okay, I'm thinking Winds and Dragons, maybe a year hand. We do have, uh, let's see, 8, 9 potential, year hand potential. Here we go. You're out. Oh, that's good. Linda, I like that. Your hand is out. You're out of the running. Usually I say your hand is no longer viable, but that's a bit wordy, isn't it? Okay, we picked up another multiple. Eight, nine with dragons, maybe. Let's get rid of the six and the five and the four. So you are out. Kind of like three strikes and you're out. I like that. I like that better than you're dead. Because I just think that, mm, I just don't like it. Enough said there. Okay, we are in between. We need to make a choice. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five towards a year. One, two, three, four, five towards eight, nine. We've got a gap. Since we have a gap, let's get rid of the red. Oh. Since we have a gap, let's get rid of the north. Here we go. I'm thinking, because we could fall back on like numbers with nines if we get nines. We got a nine. And that way we could use the dragons. So four, let's definitely keep going. Let's go ahead and give up wind, wind four, one. I would love to win this game. Help me forget my woes about clicking the wrong action button. Mm. Okay, I saw that pass. I think I gave up that pass. Let's see here. Oh, these are all kind of risky. Okay, East 6-4. That's not bad. It's in mixed suits. Okay, we got a 9. I'm thinking like numbers with 9s here. Right there. Like numbers with 9s and dragons. Let's see. Let's get rid of the 2 dot. We could still play 8-9 with dragons. Third hand down, but we have no flowers. Eight, nine, bam, with greens if you get a flower. I agree, Linda. That's why I was thinking about keeping that. Okay, we have uh, five, west, four. Either way, this is all really risky. It's kind of a six, one, half dozen, the other thing. Okay, here we go. Like numbers with nines is probably the most likely potential there. We've got... Lots of discards. We have six discards. Okay. We are definitely an underdog no in this fight. Okay. Now we have Joker bait or a potential for 369. We do have 69 here. Let's just hold those sixes. 369 potential. We got a red, another multiple there. Maybe the sixes can be Joker bait. Those six bands. East wind. We have three discards before we have to choose. Four characters. South wind. Let's get rid of the eight. I like to get rid of the year tiles in case someone's playing the big year hand. Two bamboos. So I like to get rid of the, the two eight bam, two eight crack six bamboos. dragons. Oh, we're not going to take that. And there was a slight hesitation there. Could have been me. I don't know. Yeah, nobody wants that. Seven bamboos. So I'm thinking like numbers with nines. What do you guys think? Maybe the nine crack and the red dragon could be the pairs. Since we have pairs of the nine bam green dragon. Seven oh, there's a nine ban. That Eight is fortuitous. Bamboo. I think we could probably hold the sixes for a little longer, but those may go away. Two discards before we have to choose. If we played the three, six, nine hand with dragons, we would need flowers, and we have none. Okay, now we are in between. We could use nines 
with the BAM or the crack, now that we have uh, three crack, mm, nine BAM, I mean. Nine BAM, green dragon. Nine BAM and green dragon pairs. Nine crack, red no dragon characters. in pungs. These, none of these are out. Okay, we'll Four see. Dots. I think we could give up on the sixes, though, and I don't think anybody wants them. It was discarded, and there was very little hesitation. So I think we could throw it. Ooh, there's a six crack, though. Maybe somebody just wasn't ready for it. That six crack joker there is available. And there's an eight crack now with a joker. It would be very nice to get those jokers. Five bamboos. We'll see what happens here. Five bamboos. I, oh, Paula, yes, I agree. I love like numbers, too. I do like Seven like bamboos. numbers. They are pretty hands. Plum. No keeper there. Two characters. We have three discard, really four discards at the moment. Nine bamboos. No, we're concealed. I'm not taking that. We have no jokers or Seven flowers. Bamboos. So I would not take that. We're staying concealed. One character. It would be really nice to get One some jokers. Bamboo. Oh my gosh, yes. I would love to have some jokers right now. Jokers do help. I have to admit that. We don't need that. So there's one green dragon out right now. No other dragons are out. Eight bamboos. Four Maybe bamboos. we can get a joker out of this red dragon. You never know. One bamboo. Four bamboos. We're still an underdog here in this Nine fight. Bamboos. We have no gaps, though. My job. Oh, three, six, nine. All right. Well, very good. Okay, so I think we played. How many hands did we play? Maybe six. We won two. One went dead. Oh, that was Mr. Piano. He wins all the time. He's a very good player. Three, six, nine, and two suits. Pung, pung, kong, kong. Over here we have. They were look. It looks like they were trying for one, three, five, seven, nine, but they had a gap with no three dots. They might have been able to go to little odds. One, three, five. Use the sevens as joker bait, maybe. And then over here, it looks like they were trying to play a year hand, um, but they could not get their ones paired up. And they had joker bait with the north. And then over here, sadly, like numbers, couldn't get jokers. Jokers would have been nice. Okay, I think that's going to end our live stream tonight. At least um, I didn't go dead. Um, but I guess it was a good lesson I talked about editing it out, but I think I'll keep it in there. Because there was a good question about it, a good comment, a good question. It's a good lesson. I'll keep it in there. What do you guys think? So the next two Sundays, next week is Hong Kong Mahjong for the live stream. The week after that, I'm hoping that we can play Siamese Mahjong. I don't know if it's out yet, though. Let's go see. Siamese, Siamese Mahjong, I don't, I don't think it's out yet. I'm hoping the third week in, uh, is going to be out. Nope, it's not available yet. They were hoping to get it out at the end of November in 2018. 2018 in November, um, but it's not out yet. So we'll see. Maybe it'll come out for the third Sunday. If the third Sunday it's not out, we'll just play American Mahjong and uh, call it a good night. So, um, and then also the next two live streams will be at 7.30 because I'm doing lessons and I need to give myself time to get home. So thank you everybody for coming. And uh, if this is your first time at a live stream, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching the repost, I hope you enjoyed the session, even my boo-boo. I made a big mistake, I clicked the wrong button. When you play at Mahjong time, you got to click the right button. Doggone it. Uh, Linda says, you're anxious to see the Siamese. It's not, it's, 
always fun to watch you play. Oh, thank you. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do, the little gray bell after you click subscribe. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Let's Play live stream, may all your picks be keepers.